poor Archie. He worries so much and accomplishes so little. And yet he continues pouring out his heart and wisdom to an indifferent world. He writes of many things. Philosophy. People may think they amount to a great deal, boss. But to a mosquito, they're just something to eat. Politics. The human race may be doing the best it can. But that's an explanation, not an excuse. Nature study. The honeybee is sad and cross and wicked as a weasel. And when she perches on you, boy, she leaves a little measle. Even a chance meeting with a foolish moth moved him to passion and poetry. Dear boys, I met a moth the other night who loved to play with fire. He was trying to break in to a hundred watt bulb to fry himself on a wire. I said to him, if you keep that up, your years will be painfully few. Do you play with fire cause you like it? Or because it's the conventional thing for moths to do? He looked at me all starry-eyed and flooded his wings as he softly sighed. Have you ever seen the secret heart of a flame? How many creatures have ever seen the secret heart of a flame? Moths would rather know beauty once and then just cease to be than never know any beauty at all and live an eternity. So we wad up our lives into one little ball and into the flame we into the flame we fly what a wonderful way to die goodbye and then before i could stop him that crazy little blighter took a flying leap at the business end of a patented windproof blighter and No little blighter. Now, boss, that moth was a fool, I guess. But there's one thing I can't deny. I wish there was something in this world I wanted as much as he wanted to fry. Your troubled friend, Archie. <laughs>